Hello and welcome to Capacity TV. Today we're joined by Anthony Boscaridis, CEO of Djibouti Data Center. Welcome Anthony. Thank you. How is Djibouti becoming a telecoms hub for Africa? Djibouti's made a lot of investment in the past, very significant investment in cable systems. Uh, they currently operate about seven international cable systems and soon we expect it to reach 10, 12 cable systems. Uh, by making these investments, so we're looking at their long-term potential as a strategic hub. As you can imagine, being the only safe place in a region full of turbulence is also why the uh, US military and other militaries have chosen it as their hub. So it's become a natural hub for two main reasons. One, the stability that it offers compared to the rest of the region of uh, East Africa. And secondly, because of its uh, port and access to uh, Ethiopia, which is very fruitful for Djibouti. And so how has your customer base been expanding in 2013? As a result of having all these cable systems, the customers needed somewhere to be able to host their equipment, cross-connect, and have all these services. Djibouti Telecom was able to offer some of these services, but by having the data center there, the customers found a, a very natural place to host their equipment. As a result, we've seen enormous growth, and I can tell you already that in the last uh, few months, since we've been operational, we've had major companies such as MTN, Telecom South Africa, Do. Uh, and others, uh, including BICS, enter the data center, and a whole group of new customers are joining us very soon, but are obviously under confidentiality agreements. What have been some of the challenges of establishing a data center in Djibouti? It is challenging. It's a new service. It, you have to meet new standards and criteria. What we really wanted to do was to be able to offer a very high level of service there. And of course, this means cost. So the cost has been quite high to establish a data center, as you can imagine, having the right materials, being able to bring it up to a tier three level, having all the right redundancy. Together with our partners, Djibouti Telecom, I think we've done a great job and we already have an excellent reputation for uh, being able to deliver circuits and cross connects uh, on behalf of the customer within 24 hours. So we've got a whole group of new customers come in, we've serviced them very well and we're seeing enormous growth for 2013 so far. And what markets in Af Africa are next on your radar? The whole region there is changing uh, rapidly. Uh, I would say that um, the stabilization of Somalia, the changes in Sudan, now you have South Sudan, uh, Ethiopian markets, this, these are huge huge opportunities for us and we're positioned in the right place. So we're looking at expanding the data centers into these uh, particular countries. Uh, we have very distinct advantages with direct cables that are linking Djibouti to these particular countries and the expansion of the cables. So we see that this region is our immediate expansion. Uh, we've kind of taken the first step already with a new internet exchange which is going to be active uh, right now. This is an internet exchange to serve all the customers that are in the data center, and it just happens to be that most customers own capacity to Djibouti already, so it makes it very easy for them to reduce their cost and keep traffic local. So we're finding that Djibouti is a natural stepping stone to the next regional countries. I see, so will terrestrial connectivity be important moving forward? Yes, it's extremely important. Uh, there is terrestrial fiber connectivity already from Djibouti to the neighboring countries that I mentioned before. There's a new cable to South Sudan now, there's uh, Somalia, and a number of other ones is to Yemen across uh, the water there, and it's growing. So the terrestrial investments are happening uh, by Djibouti Telecom very effectively, relatively quickly, and these are bringing huge benefit to all the carriers that want to be hosted there because they can access all these cables to go where they need to go. There are no real restrictions in uh, Djibouti. It's, it's kind of an open uh, data center, it gives them a lot of opportunity to grow into these markets. Finally, how do you see the African data center market evolving over the coming years? It's growing rapidly in Africa as it is in other places of the world. What is unique about Africa is that the penetration currently of internet is lower than you know, Asia, Europe, uh, Middle East, and this obviously means opportunity. So I see enormous growth. And when it comes to places um, like in the case of Djibouti, Djibouti itself is a small country, but it gives you access directly to all these other countries at very low cost and very low latency because it's nearby. So I think there's going to, we're going to see a lot of growth in this part of the world. Uh, there'll be a lot of investment and there's a lot of interest. Great. Thank you for your time today, Anson. Thank you very much.